You have made this whole mess. Please pick up your toys. No. Amartya, come on, finish your homework. No, Mama. Come on, no. Amma. Are you also sick and tired of hearing this big no from your child? Yes, it is a big problem for us parents because it hurts our ego and yes, it makes us feel like a failed parent. But let me give you a moment of relief. No, not because it is common, but because it is normal for a child to say no. Why? Because it makes them feel powerful in this big bad world which otherwise makes them feel scared and quite powerless. But again, the fact of the matter is, this habit needs to be controlled. How? With these four simple techniques. First thing, hear yourself carefully. How many times do you say no to your child? Can we change that habit a little? For example, instead of saying, don't jump on the sofa. Can we say, sofa is meant for sitting. You can jump as much as you want once we go to the trampoline in the park. Avoid saying, don't take out all your toys at once. Can we try saying, uh, let's play with this car set first and then we will go to the next one. Don't scream, okay? Mm -mm. Try saying, I love to listen to you when you speak softly. And hello, when you say that, your tone, your body language, and your words should match. Because kids are pretty smart and they can catch you if you are pretending to be nice. Second thing, give choices instead of orders. This make them feel empowered and then they adhere to the commitment that they have given. For example, instead of telling them, switch off the TV and go to your room for homework, can we tell them, so would you like to do homework now or after watching this show that is 15, 20 minutes later? Or so you're planning to do maths homework right now or science homework? I'm sure they will respond positively to this particular question instead of an order given by you. And they will adhere to the commitment that they have given. And if they don't, all that you have to say is, homework time, no shouting, no yelling. Third thing, this generation is pretty logical and rational driven. So give logic to any suggestion or any objection that you're taking. For example, as we said earlier, don't take out all the toys at once. Can we try saying, I'm afraid if you take out all the toys in one go, you might lose some. So can we start playing with this toy first? And then we will play with the other one. Fourth, last but not the least, encourage imitation. Instead of nagging them to wear socks properly, can we just tell them, wearing socks gives me a great fit with my shoes. Would you like to try them? Instead of snatching the mobile or tablet from their hands, can we increase our reading time and lead by example? Do try these suggestions at home with your children and be consistent with them. I'm sure you will find drastic change in their behavior. If you like these suggestions, do give us a big thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Gen X Parenting. Thank you so much.